Hello and welcome to another one of our Bible stories. Have you ever wondered how the message of Jesus spread all over the world? If you wanted to share news around the world today, you would use newspapers or television or the internet. But 2,000 years ago, none of these things had been invented. It was Paul who started it all off and he had to travel to spread the message. Let's open the book to the Bible story called Paul is shipwrecked. City after city, mile after mile, year after year, Paul travelled far and wide, facing danger every day, just so that people could hear about Jesus. Was Paul worried? Not at all. In every city he visited, he left behind a little church, a group of people who wanted to live like Jesus. But then Paul went to Jerusalem, and that's when he ran into big trouble. The religious leaders didn't like it when Paul said that Jesus was the special one that God had promised. The religious leaders were angry when he said that Jesus really had come back from the dead. And at last the religious leaders arrested him and beat him. Some people even wanted to kill Paul. But in the end, he was put in chains and sent to Rome to go on trial before the emperor himself. Was Paul worried? Not at all. He knew that God had said Paul would go to Rome to tell people there about Jesus. And now he was on his way. Paul was put on the ship like other prisoners and at first the journey went well. But when the wind changed, the ship slowed down and by the time it reached Crete, it was running late. Was Paul worried? Not at all. He knew that it wasn't a good time of year to sail and that if the ship stayed in Crete everything would be all right and that's what he told the men in charge. But they didn't want to wait so off they sailed across the choppy sea. It didn't take long for Paul's warning to come true. A hurricane blew up and the boat was blown like a toy across the sea. The sailors did everything they could. They dropped the anchor. They threw the cargo overboard. They held the battered boat together with ropes. But the storm went on and on until all the food had run out and it looked like everyone was going to die. Was Paul worried? Not at all. He knew God would keep them safe. Calmly he stood and spoke to the others. I had a visit last night from an angel. He told me that we would get to Rome safely. The ship will be destroyed, run aground on an island, but we will all survive. And that's just what happened. The ship was wrecked off the island of Malta. At first, the soldiers and sailors thought only of themselves. But Paul convinced the men to change that, the men in charge, that the angel's promise would come true, if everyone stuck together. But that's what they did and everyone was saved. The people who lived on the island took care of the castaways and after three months they joined another ship sailing to Rome. In that big city Paul had to stay in his house until the trial. So while he waited he told everyone who visited him about Jesus. Was Paul worried what would happen to him? Not at all. Instead he was busy, busy writing letters to the churches he had started all over the world and in one letter he said, Don't be worried, just be thankful and tell God what you need. Jesus will give you the peace of God and that will help you to face everything. The places Paul visited in today's story were Crete, Malta and Rome. Today many people go there on their holidays and these are all places where people heard the message of Jesus from Paul around 2,000 years ago. We still have the letters he wrote to those first Christians. They make up a large part of the Bible. The book we use for all of ours open the book stories. Now close your eyes and think about what Paul wrote in one of his letters. Don't be worried, just be thankful and tell God what you need. Jesus will give you the peace of God that will help you to face anything. Now I'm going to say a prayer. 
And if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, help us to know that when we are worried, we can talk to you. Please give us your peace. Amen. Amen. Thank you for listening. And I look forward to bringing you another story again soon. Take care, keep safe and God bless you all. Bye for now.